today we are going to try another fish meal here in Malaysia. A few weeks ago I tried fish for the first time in my life actually and I found out it was not that bad. So I thought maybe there is more fish or more fish dishes that are also nice to eat. So I came to, uh, to this restaurant here which is a popular fish restaurant in Kuantan where I am right now. Uh, many of uh, you guys of my subscribers um, recommended me this place and today we are going to try ikan bakar which is a grilled fish. I don't know which type of fish, probably I can choose between different types of fish. We're going to check it out and then, yeah, have a try, see if I like it or if I don't like it. That will be uh, the surprise of the video, I don't know, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I like to try new things. If you follow my videos and you know, I always um, like to try new things, new menus, new dishes. So uh, let's, let's see what they offer and the twist today is you're, as you're following my videos in the past weeks, you know I try to learn Malay. So I try to, to speak Malay. So I try to order the fish today in Malay. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, saya nak makan ikan bakar. Boleh. You understand? Yeah. Oh, perfect. It's easy to learn Malay. <laughs> yes, I would like to make a video about uh, your fish here. Is that okay? Okay, um, how does that work? How does it work? I can I can choose the type of fish? Yes. Oh, I have yes, no idea uh, about fish. Okay. I don't know First, nothing about fish, so uh, what what would you here, recommend? In here. Um, for seafood, yeah. Just self-service. You you can choose uh, squid, uh, crab, or ah, fish, okay. anything else. So and then you, you grill it. Ah uh, yes. Oh. You just uh, tell me what you want to cook. Okay. Like grill or salted egg. Um, Anything. So what type of fish would you recommend? Um, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of this uh, fishy uh, flavor. Yeah. Let me see. Okay. okay. Oh, so nice. So he's going to help me because yeah, I have no idea about seafood. As you know, I just uh, started to eat fish a few weeks ago. Just for one person? Yeah, and small portion. Not, okay. not big. Small. You because I'm not sure if I like it. Okay. You want, you oh. want ikan bakar? Ikan bakar, okay. yeah. We grill with sambal, you know? Okay. Okay, we grill with sambal. Pedas. Uh, yes. Can you make little pedas? Okay. Yeah, little yeah, pedas. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Ah. So just. Uh, so this is all the, the same fish? Uh, no, no, no. Not the same. Uh, not the same. This is uh, we call pari. Ah, I see it's different. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is shakap. Uh, I don't know in English. <laughs> oh no problem. Okay. This is uh, in Malay we call it uh, aji aji. Yeah. And this cenaha, uh, um, bawal and gelo. Okay. okay. So I prefer if you want to grill, I prefer this ikan lah, the fish. Aja, aja. Is the, the taste uh, fishy? Ah uh, yes, yes. Because I don't like this fishy ocean flavor. Okay. Do you have like um, I think freshwater fish is better? Water fish. Freshwater? Uh, I have no idea. Just what what people okay. recommend me. Well, I, I recommend this for grill. Okay, I try. Okay. 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 So anything? This uh, looks like a big fish. Oh yeah. yeah. Maybe a small fish. Oh, okay. Ah, it's okay, yeah? okay. Okay. So, um, and uh, else? just just a fish. Just a fish. And yeah. normally you eat it with with rice. Ah, uh, yes. So a little bit rice on the side. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just fish again. Okay. You want to try a squid? No, just a fish today. Okay. Don't want to try too much today. Just a fish. <laughs> Can I see how you grill it? Ah, uh, well, okay. 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 Cool. In green yeah. fish. What, what is this? Uh, I don't know what in English, but it's some uh, vegetables. Ah, it's vegetables. Uh, yeah. Yes, it's yeah. okay, okay. Okay. I want to try the, the local way. Okay. How, how the local also order the fish here? <laughs> oh, I really like this place. Like this uh, self uh, service style here. Really cool. So I'm going to wait a little bit until uh, they're going to show me how to prepare the fish actually. So that's going to be exciting as well. And uh, yeah, as you guys know, I started to, to learn Malay a few weeks ago. So I kind of got uh, back into this uh, language learning mode again, because actually I enjoy learning new languages. Uh, back in school, I wasn't really a fan of it because school classes can be boring. I think uh, we all agree with that. But if there's a fun way to learn languages, I really like it actually. And uh, a few years ago, I was living in Spain. I did an internship there during my university time and I learned Spanish back then. And uh, recently, a few weeks ago, I found out um, uh, about uh, an application called Bazoo that would have helped me 
back then to learn Spanish in a fun way. And they actually um, supported me to create this video. So I would like to uh, tell you a little bit about the app because I think it's uh, different from uh, other language learning app. And um, yeah, if you're interested in learning a new language in a fun way, this is a cool app to check out. So you can learn um, different languages like English, of course, but also Arabic, Chinese, German, French, or some other languages as well. And yeah, when I was living in Spain, um, I picked up some Spanish. I learned Spanish back then, but I kind of lost it during the past years, which is actually a little bit sad. So in the past days, what I did, um, I used this app to renew my Spanish skills a bit. Um, in, a, in a fun way, just like five to 10 minutes every day, the app has some uh, really cool lessons where you can easily renew or learn the language. And um, it's really cool to use because you can use it as a beginner, but also with an advanced level. So whatever is your, your level, your current level of a, of a certain language, um, the app is um, suggesting you to take a test at the beginning. And then based on the results of the test, uh, the app suggests you different lessons to start with. So for me, it was really fun uh, to yeah, renew my Spanish with the help of the Bazoo app. And uh, the app is, you can use the app totally for free. You can sign up easily with either your Facebook or your Google account or create a new account easily within a few minutes. So if you're interested uh, to learn a new language in a fun way, I highly recommend to check out the app. It's uh, yeah, Bazoo. The link is going to be in the description as well as in the pinned comment. So uh, check it out. And yeah, I think uh, now we can go over and check out how they prepare the fish here. All right. We are going to see um, how, how to prepare the fish, right? Yes, yes. Okay, let's have a look. What? Why you do this? Like to, to remove the skin? Ah, yes, yes. Ah, okay. Uh, remove it. Uh, it's uh, apple stick in the mouth. Yeah, okay, okay. So we're not eating this, the skin. Yeah, I'm a totally newbie with eating fish. A few weeks ago, I tried fish for the first time in my life. I tried uh, Ikan Kerli in uh, Kotabaru, I think it was. That was the first time I tried fish in my life. And this is the second time, or the, the third time, I think, by now. Uh, so we're moving the, 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 the inside parts of the fish. You just removed inside, right? This, this is my fish. Okay, this guy is going to be on our plate. <laughs> See, there are some cats waiting already. <laughs> I think they also like fish. <laughs> Ah, this is squid. And maybe in one of the next videos, I'm also going to try uh, squid. The uh, top menu for squid is um, salted egg. Salted egg. Yeah. I tried it with, um, with fried fried sotong. Ah, yeah. I tried a little bit already, but not a, not a full meal. So maybe in one of the next videos, let me know in the comments if I should also do that. <laughs> okay, and then the fish uh, goes into the to the grill. Uh, we, we what, what we call it? Um, ah, you you put the fish in here. Uh, no, no. First, uh, we. Put, uh, oh. Ah, they uh, put the, the fish inside banana leaf. So this is the banana leaf, right? Ah, yeah. So you put the, the fish inside the banana leaf. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Ni ho me jene. Ah, yeah. Okay. So this is going to be my fish. Yes. Okay. So the big leaf we yeah. put there first. Digger it up. Digger it up. We put the sambal. Only a little bit. A little bit. Because it's spicy, right? Ah. A little bit. Ah. Oh, that's that's a little bit. I wonder what uh, what be the normal portion. <laughs> ah, and then you put it. Okay. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Okay. I, I will try. Okay. So it's turning into a fish and spicy challenge for me today. Ah. 
Onion? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. So we have onions so and uh, In things. Malay, we call it petai. Petai. Yes. I don't know petai. in English. I don't know neither. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> and I've never saw that before. But it's, it's a vegetable, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's good for our health. Good for my health. Yes. That sounds like it's fitting to my healthy week. Perfect. Very well. Okay. Why why you put it in banana leaves? Um because it's our what traditional and okay. our recipe. So will the banana leaf also add some flavor? Uh, no. Does it taste different uh, yes, if you yes. make without yes, banana yes, leaves? Yes, yes, yes. Oh okay, cool, cool. Oh. And now it's ready to be on the grill. Yeah. Oh perfect. Uh -huh. How many minutes uh, you put it on the grill? Uh, around 30 minutes. 30? Yes. 30, so half an hour. Uh, yes, yes. Half an hour, okay. And then you're gonna serve it together with the rice. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm hungry now actually. Okay, let's see how uh, he puts it on the grill. Oh, it's really hot here. <laughs> We have like so, 35 uh, degrees so outside and here the grill. Okay. Like downside. Uh, so like this. Yeah. If you cook uh, very well. So we okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Cool, okay. I'm looking forward. Yeah. Okay, Thierry Makasi for showing me. Okay. So and then I'm going to wait and then you will bring it, right? Okay, okay, okay. okay perfect. Sure. Thierry Makasi, thank you. Okay. Let's go back to the table and then uh, wait for the fish. This All right, the fish has arrived, and actually, I just met a subscriber of my channel. What is uh, your name? Faisal here. Faisal and Arman. Arman. Okay, and they are just offered to show me how to actually eat this fish because I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is two, two kind of sauce, actually. So this is the rice. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not not going to eat the paper, of course. <laughs> okay, so yeah. what? Uh, this is this like is uh, sambal sambal ketchup, I think. Spicy. Spicy, okay, maybe we put it here. <laughs> this one, the trash smell, I think something with the lime. With the lime? I'm not sure because this is my first time also here. Yeah, I think it's with lime. Okay, I'm, give, I'm gonna give it a try. Okay. So, and then uh, the fish is now inside here. Let's put the rice away. So it's uh, opening like a present here. Right, as well, you use a ah. fork and spoon so that. Easy to because it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. Coming fresh from the grill. Okay. Oh, where's the fish? Ah, ah there we have it. Oh, ah. stinky beans. Stinky beans. Oh, that's a stinky beans. Yes. yes. Whoa. Okay. Mm. And uh, you eat it with hand, right? Hand. All with the spoon, spoon, no problem. Okay, maybe I have to wait a little bit because it's really hot. Okay, I think I'm waiting a little bit. And uh, do I have to be careful with the bones inside? Yes, yes. So there are bones inside? Yes, yes. Okay. But they are easy to spot? Pardon? Are they easy to spot? They are bones. Yes. No problem. Okay. okay. Easy, no problem. Okay. Okay. Thank you for, for showing Enjoy me. your fish. I will. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> okay, nice to meet okay. you. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, yeah, it's, it's actually really hot. Um, so I'm think I'm going to wash my hands somewhere because I want like to try it with my hand the real Malay way. Um, yeah, so let me see if I can uh, wash my hands somewhere and then dig into it. Okay, my hands are sanitized and clean now. The fish is a little bit colder, so I think it's ready to eat. So look at this. I'm excited. I mean, the smell is really good. But um, yeah, you know, I'm not really a fan of uh, fishy flavor. That was always the thing I don't like about fish, is this fishy ocean taste. But um, yeah, the fish I tried the last time, which was catfish, Ikan Kelly, uh, didn't have this typical flavor. So I was surprised. Wow, there's fish that doesn't taste like fish. Didn't know that 29 years before. So let's hope this fish has a good flavor. I don't know where to start. And luckily the, the subscriber I just met explained me 
a little bit how to do it and I have to be careful with the bones inside <laughs> but I have no idea which parts I can actually eat and which not so okay excuse me if I eat it now completely wrong there are no people around me that are currently eating this so I cannot look what they are doing so I just have to figure it out by myself oh it's still very hot mm. but I can already feel that the meat is really soft Right, let's start. <coughs> oh, already spicy. <coughs> oh, I just licked my fingers, I think. But it's already spicy. Ooh. Maybe the spiciness is going to be the, the bigger challenge today than the fish. Okay, let's start with the smaller piece. Ooh. Ooh. Not bad. Not bad. Can I eat the skin? I think he told me at the beginning, I forgot. Is the skin edible? Hmm. Uh, probably this looks really weird for somebody who likes to eat fish. But yeah, this is the second time in my life that I eat fish. So, keep that in mind. But yeah, wow. The fish itself is good. Oh, I'm surprised. Mm. Oh, let's try some onions. Onion bean. What about this stinky bean here? Can I eat it as, as a whole? Oh, spicy. <clears throat> mm. Tasteless. Tasteless so far. Okay. How about the fish? Wow. I'm really surprised once again with fish. Wow. So no fishy awesome flavor at all. I mean a little bit fishy. It's definitely taste. It's not meat. So it's uh, fish of course. Oh, very hot. I think this is a bone which I'm not supposed to eat. What's going on again? Man. I like this fish. I don't know what fish is this. Maybe I'm going to ask him again. Because this is another type of fish that I apparently like to eat. And check it out. It's uh, super white. It's very... Soft. I think I have a bone. I think it's not good to eat it. But I think they can uh, harm your, your stomach. So I have to be careful. Oh. Let me show you the meat a little bit here. Oh, super hot. Super hot. Oh, I forget. How, how do you get rid of all the bones normally? Mm. So, let's try it again. Check it out. Fish on east coast on the east coast of Malaysia. Wow. Nice. Guys, once again, this really proves that sometimes you just have to be open for new things. Just sometimes you have to just try new things to find out that you like them. Wow. And I think this one is even better than the fish I tried in Kodabado, the Ikan Kili, the catfish. Very nice. Wow. Definitely. So, I'm going to um, yeah, enjoy a little bit more and then uh, give you my final thoughts later on. So I'm halfway through actually. So, one side is already finished. And I uh, totally forgot the sauce. I'm just seeing the, the sauces over there. So of course you also have to try the sauce. So this one, which I have no idea what it is. Uh, I assume it's spicy. So let's grab a big piece of meat. Hmm, interesting. I have no idea what it is. But the taste is not bad. 
Oh, that's spicy. Mm. Mm. Maybe this is with lemon. Oh, it's not really lemon. What is it? No. I'm, I'm not a food expert, so I have no idea what is in here. But it was good. That's the only thing I need to know about food. Good or not good. Simply as that. Okay. Oh, look at all these huge parts we have here. Let's try the other sauce. Which, again, I have no idea what it is. Looks like this. So if this one was not spicy, this probably is. Mm. No, not really. Not really. Mm. Oh, okay. I'm going to uh, eat the second half of the fish together with the sauces then. And, of course, also rice. Oh. Now I'm going to finish. Okay. Saya suka makan ikan bakar. I think that means I like to eat grilled fish. Or maybe that means I love. That would have been uh, maybe a little bit too much, but I like it. Okay, let's see what's the total price of this. Hi, hello. Barat uh, 42.50 for one grilled fish. Okay, let's pay this. Where are you from? Uh, Saya Dari German. 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 What? Oh, I, I tried to learn, but not so much now. I can say Apakaba, Saya Dari German, and um, Saya Suka Makan Ikan Baka. Is what uh, do you understand? Yeah. Was it uh, I love or I like? Saya Suka is I like or I love? I like. I like. Okay. Saya Suka. Ikan baka. Saya suka ikan baka. Okay. <laughs> okay. Terima kasih. Thank you very much. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let me summarize everything. So, the price was 42 ringgit and 50 cents. That surprised me a little bit because that is by far the most expensive. All right. Um, by far the most expensive meal. Oh, hello. Can we have a selfie before we go? Yeah, sure, sure, we can make a selfie, sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, what I wanted to say is, um, it was, I think, the most expensive meal I ever had in Malaysia. 42 ringgit, so that is like, what is it, uh, eight, eight euro something, or like nine dollar. But um, it, it, it's okay, totally okay for me. The fish was really good. I was really surprised that I, that I actually liked it. So, so leave, a, leave a thumbs up. If you like um, to see me trying more fish, let me know in the comments which, which fish or seafood should I try next. I really enjoy making these videos because yeah, it's always cool to yeah, find out new things and experience new, new foods. I mean, that is, that is part of why I love traveling, making new experiences. Go to a new country, try new dishes. So I love it. So leave a thumbs up if you like this type of content as well. And um, oh, look at this. Ooh. That looks cool actually <laughs> okay yeah thanks for watching today's episode if you want to support this channel then whoa then uh, leave a leave a like that really helps uh, for the algorithm to to grow this channel and uh, share this video with your friends and um, yeah subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and if you also want to join team abroad here on this channel and then come back tomorrow for the next episode or actually tomorrow or the day afterwards we're going to start a road trip uh, we so uh, Steve and Ivana from Jetlag Warriors, Travel Grammars and me, we're going to start a road trip tomorrow or the day after. So um, yeah, that's going to be an interesting week then. So come back tomorrow for the next episode and then uh, see you on the next video. Ciao. Oh, oh, I forgot. Wait. Stay healthy, stay positive and then see you on the next video. Ciao.